Hey there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and I am back again with another Face Mask Friday. And today I'm bringing you another Sanctuary Spa Covent Garden mask, and this is the Purifying Charcoal Bubble Sheet Mask. How cool! <laughs> So this is obviously, like I say, a sheet mask. It's very cleansing. It's to draw out the, the uh, skin clogging dirt, grime and pollution with purifying, the purifying power of a million micro bubbles, which sounds amazing. So yeah, this comes in two halves. You've got the top half and the bottom half, I believe. That's what it looks like on the diagram. Um, it is a 10 to 15 minute mask, so you just literally remove both part, place both parts of the mask down onto clean, dry skin, smooth out any creases in the sheet, and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. Remove the sheet mask from your face and massage your face with the remaining bubbles. Rinse off with warm water and follow with your favorite moisturizer. So that sounds pretty cool. Um, and 10 to 15 minutes is actually quite a short time for some um, masks, which is quite good as well. It's always a plus for those people who are like, you know, busy lifestyles and stuff like that. So yeah, so I've actually already cleansed my face and washed and tried to use a bit of hot water just to draw open my pores a little bit. But I think we're gonna jump into this in a second. Okay, so let's jump into this mask. Oh, it's leaking. <laughs> it smells alright. Let's grab this piece. Ooh. I'm going to try and not make too much of a mess. I believe this is possibly the forehead, well, the eye piece. Oh my goodness, how does this open? Oh, it's so slimy. That's so slimy. Oh my god, this is actually like so difficult. I can't even see what I'm doing. Is this really the forehead piece? I hope so. It looks like it. Oh my goodness, it's getting stuck to itself. <sighs> Come on, <laughs> unravel. <laughs> That looks like a nose piece, and these look like the forehead pieces, so let's just chuck it on and hope for the best. <laughs> this feels hilarious right now. Okay, so that's the forehead piece on. Now, let's try and continue ripping and making a, a bit of a mess. And see what we can do. Oh my god, my hands are all slidey now. <laughs> this is a bright little mission, this is, you know. <gasps> and this doesn't want to open either, which is always great. Right, so I've now got my scissors, and this is probably like the worst idea as well, because it's so risky of cutting the bloody mask. But literally, there was no way in heaven or hell that that was peeling open. Problems. <laughs> Oh my god, this feels crazy. Okay, now to try and attempt to get this bit open and work out where the hell this goes. Okay, I don't know which one you should have done first. Did it stay? No. Because. <laughs> Because this also looks like it goes on the nose piece, but it looks like it probably should go on first, really. But I don't really think it matters too, too much. It's all going to go on the face anyway. So I assume this goes kind of like that. And then this wraps just around like so. But it of course hasn't unfolded properly because this mask doesn't. And now I've got to try and find where the foldy bit is. Oh, it's on the outside, that was lucky. Well, partly lucky. 
And now I have to try and position this all once again. Like so. Okay. So you can already see the top bit. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, so you can already see it's so foamy. Especially the top bit at the moment. Just gonna use it on my neck for a little bit, why not? But like, that is really funky. And you can kind of feel the bubbles slowly fizzing up on your face. It's not a weird feeling at all. It just feels, well, it is a weird feeling. It's just not a irritating feeling like you'd expect it to be. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this now for a little bit and I will update you if anything fun happens. Okay, so it's been about the time now. It is very, very foamy as you can see. And you can, I can still feel it kind of foaming up. But it feels quite nice. Um, it's slowly falling down onto my lips, so I'm probably going to take it off now because it has been about 10 15 minutes, I'd say. And let's see what it's like underneath all of this craziness. Ooh. So it looks a lot more bubbled on the side, on the outside. Um, but you can still see a lot of bubbles on the face. So obviously you just wanna massage those in like they stated. Now you can totally see, it's like a face um, wash, you know, one of those like facial scrubs that, um, I'm actually gonna steal some of these bubbles just to help me out here. <laughs> Um, might as well make use of them. They don't tell you not to. <laughs> but you see how it's kind of going to that soapy white um, look. That is probably why. But I'm going to assume that this is kind of like a face wash as well. So yeah, work it onto the skin and then it does state to rinse it off with some warm water. So I'm gonna go and do that now and then I'm gonna come back and give you the finished look and feel and review. Okay, so I've just rinsed that all off and let's have a feel. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, Damn. <laughs> Quite honestly, it feels amazing. My nose literally feels like it's been like fully deeply cleansed. Girl. Like, holy crap. That gives a real deep cleanse. Like, my face just feels so refreshed and moisturized and, you know, so squiddy. <laughs> I don't know why they feel so squidgy. It does feel a little bit tacky, like where I guess the product may still be sitting on the face, but as soon as that kind of really dries in, or if you give it a really, really, really good cleanse and wash, um, I assume that that would not be there. But it does leave a little bit of tackiness, but I will forgive that because my face does feel very, very cleansed and I'm very happy with this. Um, it does say as well to use a nice moisturiser, so I'm going to go and do that. But, first of all, I want to go over some points with this mask. So, I really, I think this mask is about £4, roughly £4-ish. Might be just under £4, actually. Um, and I know that Glam Glow and lots of other brands do similar masks to this. And this is probably a lot on the cheaper end compared to other masks, like the Glam Grow one, I know for sure is seven pounds. Um, so it's not a huge, huge difference, but it is a difference nonetheless. So I was actually expecting this to be a bit like, 
me it, it, it's fun and it works but it's not like amazing but honestly that was actually quite enjoyable um a little bit slimy and a little bit difficult to work with at first and the packaging was a little bit tricky to open especially when you've got slimed up fingers so it would be nice to I know that it's quite handy to have it in two different parts so that it can adapt to people's faces but it can also mean that you struggle to you know actually get it on and put the next bit on and open it up so that is my only real downfall that I have with this mask but overall I really really recommend you go out to your local drugstore whether it's Boots, Superdrug or any of the other ones and try and find this mask so it is the Sanctuary Purifying Bubble Sheet Mask I think that's what it's called Bubble or it might have charcoal in it I can't remember <laughs> it's just in front of me but I don't want to move it because I'm trying to be clever <laughs> but I will leave the link for you in the description down below so check that out and you know give the people at Sanctuary Spa some love in and I will see each and every one of you in the next video peace out bitches